The All-American Futurity coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by the sire standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. It's the All-American Futurity Week here on Stallion Esearch, and all this coverage is brought to you by the Stallion standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. Now we got plenty to talk about here this Triple Crown season. Here we got not only the Triple Crown on the Futurity side, but we also have the Triple Crown on the Derby side going into these finals on Labor Day weekend. We went to the barn of John Steinbo after he qualified just saving candy into the finals going into the All-American Futurity, which of course has the Triple Crown alive and well. This is what John had to say. Well, you know what, we hated to draw him to the 10 hole going into the trials. He ran kind of the uh, same race that he ran in the Red Oath trials, which definitely wasn't his best one. They're running just saving candy, floating out at the start. Decent enough break, though. And it's speed for you. Press is my hero in good candy cartel. Then we have El Painted Eagle, just saving candy now right alongside and trying to get involved via long, just saving candy. Battling with Press is my hero. Then El Painted Eagle, just saving candy, running against the clock, just saving candy from Press is my hero. Oh, tend to break out a little bit yesterday and then he comes in and that's kind of the same his very first out he ran that same kind of race and Calderon was prepared for it but it didn't change the outcome I mean he still wants to kind of run that kind of race out there I think the horse is much better horse in between horses well he was making a lot of mistakes and and you know I was watching him but I, I was also watching what Calderon was having to do to get him there and he was having to ride I watched watch what Francisco's doing that tells me more what the horse is doing other than trying to watch the horse. You know, I see the position where I am out there in the, the field of horses, and, you know, hell, there's a couple of horses had him beat for a ways. And then once he got leveled off out there and he got comfortable and got in his stride, it was game on then. You know, that horse is, has just gotten better and better all year. I mean, he, he's like training a three-year-old, not a two-year-old. He's he, he, You saw him yesterday. He's big. He's full. He, he's, he just keeps gaining weight. He's a happy horse. What can y'all do to make this horse better from here to the final? Just get in between horses. Draw in between horses. I think that's the key to it. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Introducing a talented sire from the roster at Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana. One of the all-time winningest stakes horses in Louisiana quarter horse history, Open Mia Corona. The AQHA Racing Champion Sire and near millionaire was a winner of the 2012 restricted grade one Louisiana Million Futurity. And now, Open Mia Corona is a grade one winning sire and producing sire. With his son, a double Corona, winning the restricted grade one LQHBA sale Futurity at Evangeline. As a runner, Open Mia Corona was a terror of the Louisiana quarter horse ranks with a total of 16 stakes wins, eight of them being graded in his near million dollar winning career. Standing at Robichaux Ranch and producing grade one winning runners, the mighty Open Mia Corona.